Oh no, oh no. <laughs> hey Chopsticks, today on the menu is jumbo shrimp, prawns, and tteokbokki, also known as Korean spicy rice cakes. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Merrick. Nice to meet you. I film mukbangs at ASMR, so if you are interested in these types of videos, make sure to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have my prawns and tteokbokki right in front of me, so let's dig in. I made these myself, by the way. So proud. Mmm. Let's get some nice sauce on the tteokbokki. Open wide. Got it, you guys. Don't let the sauce drip. Slay. Mmm. It's nice and chewy. Mmm. I love tteokbokki so much. Mmm. Oh yeah. This dish was inspired by Quan Tran. I saw his um, video on jumbo Cajun, Cajun prawn and tteokbokki and I was like, oh my gosh, what a genius, great combination. So I did decide to do decided to give it a try myself. And clearly, it turned out great. FYI, today I have a lot to talk about. So if you do like a talkative mukbang, it's your lucky day. Mm. But before I actually get into like the story time portion of the video, it's like kind of a story time, but not really. I'll explain later. I want to do question of the day. Let's do question of the day first. So the question of the day is, do you prefer to work alone or in teams? That's the question of the day. Do you prefer to work alone or in teams? And today um, I'll be talking about kind of my preference and why I enjoy, well, Spoiler alert, I like to work alone, but why I like working alone and how it kind of pertains to my story time. Mm. Here, have another tteokbokki before we, before we move on to the bronze. Mm. So, I think this whole thing costs around seven, six dollars USD in terms of ingredients. Mm. Let's do this prawn right here. Beautiful, eh? Nice big prawn. Let's like flatten it out a little bit for the camera. Slay. Mm. These prawns, I put butter, Cajun seasoning, lemon, sugar, sesame oil, garlic, and as you can see, they complement the tteokbokki so well. For the tteokbokki, it was just, um, what did I put? I boiled some water, I put dried kelp and dried anchovies in there to season the water. I uh, strained the kelp and the anchovies and I took the seasoned water. I put some Korean hot pepper paste and sugar and honey too, I think. Pretty simple. Sorry, I'm not like the fastest prawn, prawn peeler there is. I'm not sure why I'm calling these prawns. I usually call them shrimp, but we're gonna try prawn today. So here's a prawn without the tteokbokki sauce. Let's get some tteokbokki sauce in there. Mmm, beautiful. Slay. Mmm. Mmm, so good. I keep saying so good, but it really is so good. 
So what I want to talk about today is hating specific people at work. I know we all have different personalities in the world and obviously all our different personalities can't be compatible with, with one another with one another. But honestly, there's some personalities just get under my skin so, so, so much. I think everyone can agree, even like hiring managers out there, recruiters, it's impossible to get along with everyone or to have a personality to get along with everyone because I don't think that's human. But what I'm saying is like, I guess it's like a general statement. Hmm. At first, I thought I put too much hot pepper paste in here, but I think it's actually the right amount of spice. Usually, I'm one of those people who either put too much or too little. This is a huge one. Oh my god. It's like the size of my face. Oops. There we go. So, I was reading a Reddit post last night and we talked about how one's behavior in the workplace is a significant factor to their mental well-being. Specifically, the thesis, thesis, or the whole point of the article, or the Reddit post, was this. Mm. Lemon, butter, and garlic are seriously, like, the best combinations ever. I gotta be careful eating this, because these prawns are so big, and they have, like, a sharp head. I'm also one of those people who eat or suck on the shrimp prawns guts, like the intestinal parts. I think it's so good. But the main argument of that Reddit post was saying how in the workplace, even though you might not get along with someone and you have a genuine distaste for them, like you genuinely don't like them, you don't want to associate with them, because of work, you have to. Like, you're forced to work with them, right? And many individuals put on a facade, a facade of a ha fake happy smile to work with these individuals they genuinely do not like. And when I was reading this, I can relate to it so much. And it goes on to say how the longer you put on this mask, this facade, the more it impacts your mental well-being. And it might lead to mental disorders such as depression, anxiety. And I relate to this so much. I don't know if anyone else watching right now can relate to it. Like you have this person at work, you have this person at school, you guys are doing a group project together, whatever. Your teacher assigned you to be together. Your boss put you on the same team. Mm. And you just have to work with them. And instead of like bitching about it or yelling at them, that's not polite or civil, you put on a fake smile and nod along to the BS they say in front of your face. Like, what else can you do, right? It's like, I want to get paid. Like, I need money. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just really relate to that a lot. 
And in a way, like, you and I, when we do this type of behavior, we're hiding our emotions. And isn't that not being the genuine, true self that you are? Did that make any sense? Like, if you're, if you don't like person A, and you're smiling and pretending that you like them by getting along and agreeing with their statements, aren't you lying to yourself? And isn't that a bad thing that society tells you not to do? So I'm really confused in that regard. Hmm. It's like on one hand, society tells you, don't be fake. And on, on another hand, you have to be fake. So yeah, there's um, some individuals that I have worked with in the past, or I'm still working with, where I really don't like their personality. It just might be like the way they act, the way they say things. It just really doesn't jive with my innate nature as a highly sensitive person. If you don't know what highly sensitive people are, HSPs, Google it. But I just not even put up with it, but like I smile and laugh along when really I'm just like, I want to get the hell out of here, but I can't because I'm working right now. So I have to deal with you. So like any person, you tell your friends afterwards, you're like, oh, so-and-so set this at work. I can't believe it. So, well, I'll save this for another mukbang. But people keep telling me, like, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Merrick. I basically have no friends. The few friends I do ask, the, fr the few friends I do have, I ask them, how do I make friends? I even search on the internet how to make friends. A lot of people say, make friends at work. Mm, doesn't really happen for me because the people, or some people I work with, we just don't click well. Mm, I wonder how many um, rice cakes I put in here. I got like a sh um, prawn antenna in my mouth. I don't know, it's like very similar to like school, right? It's like, oh, you're stuck in the same classroom as the person you don't like. But I guess in a way, it's better than school. Because at work, we're all adults. And you can't really like say F you in front of your colleague or to your colleague, I mean. I don't know how I fix this issue. I just know how to identify it. So, after reading this post and reflecting on my own life, I had an epiphany. I feel like I have like the bulky sauce on my face. <laughs> my, well, it's not even like a realization, but like I knew this a long time ago. I really like to work alone. I do not like teamwork. I do not like working in groups. That is probably because I don't like, like interacting with that many people in real life. I would much rather talk to you guys on the internet. That was like a burp. I was like in the middle of a sentence and I burped, but I would rather much talk to you guys on YouTube, Instagram, than hang out with my colleagues. Let's get real here. Like, why would I go out of my house when I can just sit here with air conditioning, heat, internet access? Like, out there, you can, like, get shot, you can get stabbed, you can get a sunburn. Mm. I am seriously 
totally an internet kid. Like, some of my, my, well, one friend in particular, she loves to travel. And she's, like, in Hawaii right now. And I'm, like, I'm just going to Google image Hawaii beach and pretend I'm in Hawaii while I play music of, like, the palm trees blowing. Because, like, mmm, God, this shrimp, this prawn, this everything is so good with the bulky sauce. Mmm. Hallelujah. Oh no. I am. Oh, I'm sweating a little bit. I'm almost done with my points for today. And I still have so much food left. I'm gonna eat a little bit more. But anyhow. Yeah, I get the same like type of happiness from Googling stuff or like watching it on YouTube than actually experiencing it myself. Is that strange or is that just like living in 2017? Like being raised by technology? Oh no, I peeled the shrimp so badly. That's like bad grammar, by the way. I should have said I peeled the shrimp so poorly. There we go. I'm also like one of those like, I'm not sure if this is like controversial to say. I think it's like a slang thing, but I'm one of those like grammar Nazis or spelling Nazis. Like I hate it when people do not use correct grammar or spelling. Obviously, like, if English isn't your first language, I totally understand, but, like, if English is your mother tongue, I'm like, you should know the difference between there, there, and there. Or your and your. Mmm. So, my example before was my friend is in Hawaii, and she probably spent, like, thousands of dollars to go there. And the amount of happiness she gets is the same amount of happiness I get when I watch vloggers go to Hawaii. It's like I'm living vicariously through them, right? Mm. That's why I'm so into vloggers. Mm. Let's do like a double triple key. The only time, well, I think like one destination where I can't get that same happiness through the monitor is probably Japan and Korea because I want to go there to eat Japanese and Korean food myself. Okay, double tteokbokki time. Time. Mmm. 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 Lord. So good. Hmm. I still have quite a bit left. So, going back to what I was originally talking about. I had an epiphany that I like to work alone. So that's why I was asking you guys in the beginning of the video, do you like working alone or do you like working in teams? When you work alone, you don't have to deal with people you naturally don't get along with. That's like the most obvious reason. So that's reason number one. You don't have to deal with other people's shit basically. <laughs> Sorry for swearing to my younger viewers. I don't know what's like a better PG-13 word for the S word. You don't have to deal with other people's crap. Is that better? Mm. <clears throat> So 
second reason, I'm an introvert. So every time I'm talking to another human being, doesn't matter matter if it's the McDonald's cashier or my boss, it's drawing energy away from me. Like I can physically or mentally feel me getting more tired and tired every minute I'm talking to someone. So, by working alone, oh no, I have sweat on my snapback. <laughs> by working alone, I won't be as tired all the time. I don't know if there's one single person who likes being tired all the time. Like being tired like once in a while is okay. But being tired like five times a week, uh-uh. And lastly, let me like focus on peeling the shrimp because I can't multitask. I've said this in another video, but multitasking is a myth. It does not exist. When you do task A and then you switch over to task B, there's something called mental residual. So it's basically um, an afterthought or like, it's like, it's hard to explain, but like when you're doing task A and then you go over to task B, you're still thinking about task A while you're doing task B. It takes a couple of like, not seconds, but like minutes to like really focus on task B. And then by that time you have to go back to task A. So I'm always one of those people where I'm like, let me finish one thing at a time. I would rather do one thing really, really well than a bunch of things mediocre. So I don't know why our society values multitasking so much. It doesn't work for humans. It's proven by science. My friend knows this. I literally cannot talk to someone and text at the same time. If I'm talking to you, I'll literally write what we're saying in the conversation instead of texting something else. Or if I'm talking to you, I'll read you my text instead of like uh, participating in the conversation. So I can't talk in text. Hmm. And the last reason why I prefer to work alone is because I usually can handle everything myself. I know that sounds like very conceited and arrogant, but it's true. Uh, in university, I can go on and on about this, but I'll keep it short. We were put into a lot of like team projects and we would have this like case, right? It's like a business case. It's like, oh, Joe wants to open his own business, make a business plan for him. And then like the six of us would like brainstorm ideas, we would run over the different ideas, we would pick one, and then we'll write the report on it. Honestly, the amount of time we spent debating over the idea and brainstorming ideas, I could have done the entire project myself way faster. <laughs> it's like everything, everything our team thought of, like everything the five people thought of, I thought of myself way faster than them. <laughs> So I'm just like, why am I in this group? And it just, it didn't happen with like one group. It happened with like 90% of my groups over four years or even in high school as well. And like the debates are so pointless because <laughs> I already knew which one was like the right answer per se. It's kind of like a, obviously we're not going to go with option B because even if option B sounds like a great idea, they're going to go bankrupt in a year. It's not sustainable, that type of thing. 
like people are like oh but this will like benefit the community so much if they do option b i'm like does it matter because in a year's time the business will no longer be present or existing you know what i mean Mmm. The poke is so good. Mmm. I got five pieces left and two shrimp. Mmm. Do you prefer if I look directly into the lens? When I chew and not talk. I know some mukbangers do that. Some just like stare off into the distance. Some look at their food. Maybe I'll try a combination of all three. So that was me looking at the lens. So spicy. Oh, God. That was me looking at the food. Mmm. And that was me looking off into the distance. Do you have a preference? Maybe I'll just like switch it up all the time. But the last thing I want to talk about in this video is YouTube is in ideal job for me. If I could do YouTube full time, I totally will. I would I would be pumping out videos every single day. I would be uploading mukbang ASMR every single day if I had the amount of views sustainable for a full time income. But for now, I do YouTube part time. And the reason why I think YouTube is an ideal job for me is because Basically, you can do everything alone. Like, I know some big YouTubers, obviously, they have a team. But, theoretically, you can do everything alone. What I mean by that... Is... Hmm... Last tapuki. For pre production, coming up with ideas, the logistics, buying supplies, materials, how you're going to film it, when you're going to film it, all that jazz. You can do all that planning yourself. <laughs> Filming. The actual production part of YouTube. You can do that yourself too. Well, most people do it themselves. Like, I didn't get any help setting up these lights. Right now, the only person in this shot is me, myself. This prawn has so much sauce on it. Oh no! My prawn! I just fell into the table. I'm so sad. 
There we go. I saved it. Mmm. After production is editing. You can do that yourself as well. Most people do. And then it's SEO. Um, SEO stands for search engine optimization. The back end of YouTube. You can do that yourself as well. Again, like most people do all these things themselves. Uh, thumbnail creation, you do that yourself on Photoshop. Promoting your video. I do that myself. Community engagement. I do that myself. Can you imagine if I didn't do that myself? I bet you anything. There's YouTubers who pay ghost writers to respond to their comments. Like they pay someone to respond to comments. I bet you anything, at least one YouTuber on this platform does that. I'm not even kidding. Cause I heard of like bloggers do that. Like some bloggers, they have so many comments that they hire someone to like write replies to each comment. I would never do that. Cause I feel like that's just like a betrayal of someone's trust. So yeah. Lash shrimp. Ta da! Mmm. Slay. Slaying it slowly. But surely. If you haven't answered my question of the day yet, make sure to answer. Do you like working alone or in teams? Obviously, there's pros and cons to both options. I think the only time I would enjoy working in a team is if I got to choose that team myself. Because I would choose people I know I would get along with, aka my friends. I've actually worked with a couple of friends before. It was for like a minor uh, work assignment. Nothing big. Nothing like serious. And like, although it drained my energy, because I'm an introvert, At least we thought the same. We had the same thinking process. Like we were on the same page. So it made communicating a lot easier and less frustrating. Mm. Wow. That was seriously such a satisfying meal. Mm. Delicious. Alrighty, so that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, I do upload new mukbangs every single week. And if you do subscribe or if you have subscribed already, make sure to turn on notifications because I don't want you to miss out on any of my videos. You can do that by clicking the bell icon. I'll link all my past videos on the screen right now. And until next time, that was your daily dose of a hot mess. Bye, bitches.